Science, Alexander Sanchescu, I'm a Data Analyst at VT Provider and Tableau Certified Associate. Uh, today I'll be showing you how you can construct a span chart or range chart. Uh, this type of chart is useful for finding out uh, mins and maxes of a range, even uh, time or broken up by some kind of category, something like that. Uh, and it can also be used in financial analysis if you want to look at, let's say, opening or closing prices for stocks or the high and low for the day. So let's begin by creating the calculations for the span chart. We have here the Superstore data, the classic one. So uh, I'll be looking at profit and I want to find my min profit. So I'll make a calculate field, which will be min of profit. And now I'll just duplicate this and make a max profit instead. So this will be max profit. And I got my two calculate fields. Now, I'll be looking at order date. So let's drag order date onto columns. Let's right click order date and then look at this uh, quarter. Now I get an axis, but I'll actually want header. So I'll do a discrete. There we go. Let's fit entire view. Now, I'll bring uh, measure values onto rows and I get a spaghetti mess with all the measures. But I'll only be keeping, I'll only be keeping uh, the min and max profit, so I'll just select the others and click delete and we're done. And we get two nice line charts. Now, I can drag measure values again onto rows and I get four lines. And what I'll do now is I'll right click the second axis over here and do a dual axis and of course a synchronized axis. Now I get overlapping lines, it's not what I want, but what we'll do now is for the first measure values axis we have here, I'll select instead of line a circle. There we go. And I'll even add measure names onto color. So as you can see, max profit is blue and min profit is yellow. For the second axis, so the second measure values, I'll take measure names, which is here, and put it on path. So I'm linking, just like uh, when we did the dumbbell uh, chart. But now I'll actually increase the size of uh, this line. And what we have to do now is to bring the first uh, uh, axis, which is the circles, to front. So I'll right click the first axis here and say move marks to front. And this is our span chart. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask us. Thank you for your time.